What's going on everybody? My name is Matt and this is Patriot Comics. Welcome to today's video. I have a comic book haul for you. I went to my local comic shop and I went diving in the dollar bins. Uh, this time I didn't find as many as I did the previous dives, uh, but I did find 12 really cool books that I think are definitely worth the dollar that I paid. Actually paid a little less than a dollar because the more you buy, the more you save. So I got 12 books for 10 bucks. I thought it was a great deal. But I also went diving in the back issues and I found a couple good deals. So let me show you those first. Uh, I did pick up Moon Knight number 15. This is from volume one, really cool cover. This is the first appearance of Xenos. Really nice looking book. Only that was only priced at $3. I thought that was a great price. Uh, another Moon Knight book here, a classic Bill Sienkiewicz cover, issue number 23, and that was only priced at four bucks. Really cool book. I also picked up Dazzler number one, only $4. I thought that was a pretty good deal. It's in decent shape. Uh, it is not the recalled black and white interior, uh, but it is just the regular old issue of Dazzler 1, but still a cool book. I pick them up when I can find them. I also picked up this book here, which I thought was really interesting, Amazing Adventures featuring The Beast, issue number 14. They only had it for five bucks. I had to grab it. Uh, it's not a key from this series, but this is the uh, this book is right before the introduction of Beast with the Blue Fur. So this is like the last time he had gray fur. Kind of cool. And also for five bucks, I got Creatures on the Loose, number 11 featuring Moomba. Uh, it does have uh, Johnny's signature right here. So little Johnny decided to sign his name on the cover. And it's got a little crease here. But for five bucks, I picked it up. I love these uh, old uh, Bronze Age horror books. I also picked up Batman 497, Bane Breaks Batman's Back. Really nice high-grade book, and it was priced at $4. So I thought that was just an awesome deal. And then two more really cool books here. How about some X-Men, some Bronze Age X-Men, issue number 77. It's not a key, but it's a great cover. It's in decent shape. I mean, it's got some spine ticks, but overall, really good looking book. And it was priced at only $8 for a 20 cent X Men. I'll pay eight bucks all day long. But what's better than paying eight bucks is paying five bucks for another really cool Bronze Age X Men book. And this one is an even cooler cover with Juggernaut. This is issue 81. Just a really, really awesome cover. Uh, this story also features Doctor Strange, which is pretty interesting. And this was only $5. And it's it's actually in decent shape. I don't know. It, it's about the same shape as that other X-Men book. I don't know why it was only 5 bucks, but I'm not going to complain. So those are the bit, uh, books that I picked up from the back issues. Some really cool Moon Knight, Dazzler. We got Beast. We got some Bronze Age Horror. A little DC. And then some Bronze Age X-Men books. I thought those were all really, really good deals. So then I went diving in the dollar bin, and I'll show you what I picked up. First book here is Punisher Warzone number one. It's in near mint condition. It's got that really cool die cut cover, and it's a number one, 90s, you know, can't go wrong. I love Punisher, and I actually didn't even have this one in my collection, so this one's for me. I also found Vengeance of Moon Knight number five. Really awesome cover. And then I found these books here. This is uh, from Topps Comics. This is a uh, comic book adaptation for the first Jurassic Park movie. It's a one of four um, limited series. And it's by Walter Simonson, Gil Kane, and George Perez. I mean, you can't go wrong there. So that's book number one. They didn't have book number two, which is unfortunate. But they did have number three. Awesome T-Rex cover. And book Book number four with the Raptors. Really, really cool Jurassic Park books. For less than a buck, why not? I also grabbed Ghost Rider from the volume two, number seven. It's just a nice high grade book and I needed it for my collection. And this one's really cool too. This is Dark Horse Comics, number nine, featuring Robocop. I, I'm actually working on this whole Dark Horse, uh, Dark Horse Comics run. I have a handful of issues already, so I thought that was pretty cool. 
And then I also found Green Lantern, Green Arrow, number 90. This is the first appearance of Sarek. You know, pretty cool cover and a nice little uh, Bronze Age Green Lantern, Green Arrow book. And it's a minor key for less than a dollar, and it's in good grade. Uh, also found a Near Mint Sabretooth number one. That's his first solo series. I thought that was really cool. And also another one of my favorite Captain America covers, uh, issue 284, where Cap is perched up on the building, the American flag's waving down below. You know, it's a newsstand. It's in really nice shape for less than a buck. I think I, I bought this like a long time ago for like 10 bucks one time. So finding it for less than a dollar is awesome. And then the uh, second to last book here is Master of Kung Fu number 105. And this is a, uh, a key book in that run. It's the first appearance of the second and third Razor Fist. So now there, there's like the Razor Fist trio going on. And uh, this is a nice little book. I mean, it's, it's worth like 10 or so bucks, I think. Uh, maybe a little bit more. I mean, it's in really nice shape. Newsstand. Nice little Master of Kung Fu, uh, Shang-Chi book, you know, just really happy to find that in the dollar bin. So there's one more book that I found, and it's in rough shape, but I'm giving it a spine correction and a press. So let's head over to my pressing station and take a look. So I have my comic book press here, and I'm going to attempt to do a spine correction on this last book. This is Batman 224. Nice little uh, 15 cent Batman book. It's in pretty low grade. It's got some, uh, some tears on the spine. But I'm going to go ahead and do my best. So what I do is open it up to the center fold and I'm going to lay it here. I have uh, this metal sheet that keeps it nice and flat on the bottom. Then I have a piece of Teflon and then I also have just a piece of parchment paper. And that just keeps anything from sticking to the metal. And I'm going to lay it flat here, press the book, and then we'll go ahead and refold and create a nice new spine crease and just help the book out a little bit. I mean, it is in low grade, but at least it'll present a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this here, uh, turn on my press, and we'll clamp it down and get that book nice and flat, and then we will recorrect the spine on the book. All right, so we press the book flat. Uh, I set my press to about 175 degrees Fahrenheit. I pressed it with the heat on for about eight minutes or so, and then I let it sit for a couple hours. So now I do have this piece of Teflon on top to make sure nothing sticks. And here we have the book nice and flat. As you see, I mean, there are the tears in the spine. It's really not a great looking book, probably not even worth uh, putting the effort into trying to fix it up. But you know what? I had some time, so I decided I was going to try to do a spine correction. So now that the book is flat, we will flip it over here and then we're just going to align the pages and the corners and make it perfect. And you'll get that nice and flush and try to fix this spine a little bit. And then we'll put a little bit of pressure and make a new fold. And then we'll go ahead and repress the book and that will make it sit nice and flat and create that new spine crease. All right, stay tuned. So to prepare the book for pressing, I do have a piece of heavyweight paper uh, in between the back cover and the book. Also a, another piece of heavyweight paper in between the front cover and the interior of the book. And then in the center of the book, uh, I do have a golden age size backer board. So that will keep everything nice and flat, not allow anything to bleed or stick. And then the next step is going to be to use the humidifier. So I do have my humidifier here. It's all ready to go. It's spitting out some steam. And I just give the book a nice little humidification. And it kind of brings out a lot of the wrinkles and all the little imperfections which allows you to see what's really up with this book and it adds moisture into the pages and then once we put the heat on with the press it's going to make that uh, book sit nice and flat and look really really nice a lot better than it than it does right now so let me finish uh, doing the humidification and then we will turn on the machine and get the press going 
So now that we have all the humidity into the book here, we're gonna go ahead and turn the machine on, flip it on here. I have it set already for 175 degrees Fahrenheit. So this will heat up to the appropriate temperature. And then I just close it. It has a timer on here. It's set for 10 minutes, but um, I'll usually do it for anywhere between six to 10 minutes. Uh, this one I might just let go for the full 10 because it's a pretty rough looking book. And as you see, that humidity brought all of those creases and wrinkles and everything that was in that cover page of the book. It's really pronounced right now. So while that heats up, I'm just going to throw another piece of Teflon sheet that uh, prevents anything from sticking to the press. And once it heats up, we'll close the machine and we'll get this thing pressed. I'll let it sit for at least 12 hours, probably just overnight, and then we'll come back and see how this book turned out. All right, so here is the finished product. It has been in the press for about 12 hours. It's sitting nice and flat. I put it in this bag and board, and it definitely presents much nicer than it did before. I mean, it's still a low-grade book, but, you know, you can get these really nasty-looking books and you give them a little clean, give them a little press, just a little TLC, and they just look so much better. So, you know, I definitely improved the look to it, but, you know, of course you can't do anything about the color breaks and the spine tears and the chipping. But overall, I'm happy with the book. It looks good, and it definitely uh, presents much nicer. All right, well, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed checking out my dollar bin haul and some back issues that I just recently picked up at my local comic shop. I think I got some great deals and I found some really awesome books. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.